Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. My name is Eric Charbonnet. I'm a personal trainer with Animal House Fitness. Today we're going to be talking about all things monkey feet and some exercises to get you started. My two models today are Andrew and Mecca, and they're going to be helping me out with this. Let's get started. The first exercise we're going to be demoing today is a really popular one. Uh, a lot of people have been doing them with the monkey feet. It's a hamstring curl. Now ideally, we're going to keep that leg just a little bit further back so we can maintain balance. And the whole goal here is to lift it all the way up to your butt if you can to get a maximum contraction of that hamstring. Excellent. The slower we go, the more time we spend under tension, the more work we're going to get done. It's important when you're doing this to keep your core tight and your hips rotated so that we don't lose balance or anything like that. So a regressed version of the exercise we just showed would be the prone hamstring curl. Um, the reason it's a little easier is because this floor is going to hold the form for you as opposed to you having to keep your core engaged and standing upright. The range of motion remains the same. We're going to go all the way to 180 degrees and then come up as far as we can ensuring a max contraction in that hamstring. Those are perfect. Up next is the knee drive. Just like that hamstring curl, we want to maintain a nice tight core, that same hip rotation, help us stay balanced. And we're going to drive that knee up, hold it for a second at that top, get that contraction in the hamstring and in that hip flexor. Boom. Excellent. Now this is another one where we could do it laying down if it'd be easier for you. It's a little more advanced than doing it standing up. But either way, you're getting some good work done. So this is our supine knee drive. So we did the standing one earlier. This is a little bit of a regression from it. Again, we don't have to maintain core integrity or balance or anything like that. The floor will do it for us. And all we're going to do is the same exact movement, driving that knee up, holding it for a second, really going to fire that hip flexor up. And again, getting a nice little contraction in that hamstring here. Our next exercise here is a supine leg raise. The idea behind this one is to get that leg all the way up as high as we can, activating that hip flexor, um, working through the core as well, right? A lot of strength needs to be happening here to get this leg to here. Everything's attached all the way down. We're also going to have a nice little quad contraction here because we're maintaining that, that uh, straight leg the whole time. Next exercise we're going to be showing you with uh, my model Andrew here is a quadruped leg lift. Now, as we're seeing here, that leg is only coming up to about even with this glute. If we come up too high, Andrew, go ahead and show me that. We end up in this weird, unneutral spine position. That's going to give us some back pain eventually. Also puts a lot of pressure on these elbows to see how it gets to come all the way down. Good, do it on the floor, Andrew. Good, to create that balance. So we don't want that just nice right up. Boom, perfect. Getting that contraction right here. Excellent. The next exercise Andrew's going to demonstrate here is a quad extension. Now, we're focusing on getting that leg all the way straight because that'll allow us to maximize the contraction in multiple parts of the quad. Boom. Excellent. Nice and slow control all the way down. Allows us to spend more time under tension. We're going to get more work done. Perfect, Andrew. The next exercise I'm going to have Andrew demonstrate here is a kickback. See how he's maintaining this 90 degree angle? We're going to want to do that the entire time because that's going to allow us to keep a contraction here as well as in the glute. The only time we might not do that, Andrew, go ahead and hold it right there, is if we want to come with the leg down on the way back in, we're just going to stretch that hamstring through a greater range of motion. 